this is the first part of it right, this is the inside first part and this is the second part of it it's called a t-shirt this is the third part of it which is the body itself okay this is the conductive cloth and this is the conductive pad the triangle pad and this is the velcro and the elongated velcro hook and the loop and two pairs of hook and loops for the size 20 mm diameter and a rubber band and a pair of lenses biconvex lenses and face pad The tools required to use is emma glue and stapler. If you don't have the stapler, it's okay. Let's start off with the first one. Okay, so fold it upward and you turn it towards the other side and use your finger to make indentations and fold the tab and push it in right in like so and you turn it around and use the uh, conductive cloth given and peel off the adhesive be gentle to the cloth and uh, fold it halfway and uh, align it to the left and use your finger to actually swipe across the surface and you got this and you um, Fold it to the front for the small little tab and for the buttons. Yeah, that's um, finished. And you fold it inward like a little pyramid across the uh, crease line. And you fold the tab right into that slot. Right into that slot. And that's it and you need to glue it down or you can use a stapler to staple it I prefer using the stapler and that's much stronger okay so we're done for the first part we'll move on to the second part and make sure that the uh, groove which is the con the trigger button is on the left and we take the first part and make sure we align it like so okay do apply the uh, emma glue along this area and uh, doing sparingly please do not apply too much or else the glue will not get dry so now you align it with your two fingers and apply some pressure to it some pressure okay and hold it there for a while say about 15 seconds and it should dry very fast uh, next we're gonna move on to the t-shirt and take note of the trigger here and first we have to apply some glue uh, and glue to this area as shown Right, sparingly, we fold it halfway, and this is um, what we call the, the lens holder. Okay, we'll keep it that way for 15 seconds. Okay, turn around. And with that shape of a Mickey Mouse, and we put on the first two part on top of the last part, which is the T-shirt. And this area, we have to apply some emma glue, and we align it. And uh, the three parts of it has to be precisely aligned.
right apply some pressures to it and you're done right so all the tree parts has been assembled so next we're gonna move on to the lens so peel off the protective layer peel off the protective layers and we're gonna bend it and fold it right in front first okay just take a look at the um, lens itself and it has uh, it's a biconvex lens so this side is flat and this side is round and um, the more convex um, end will be facing downward and the flatter side will be facing upward which is uh, against your eye right so with that um, push into the lens and we move on to this area where you can apply some um, adhesive right over this area and then we have to fold it downward inward towards the eyepiece and make sure that we align it nicely against the wall and form into a box Press it down for a couple of uh, seconds, like uh, 15 seconds, align it nicely and be more gentle. You can shave it a little bit to the left and right and make sure that um, they are equal side on the each, each of the side here. So once it's done, uh, we're going to put in this triangle pad, which is the uh, triangle conductive pad. Right position the uh, triangle conductive cushion over here like so and uh, we uh, press it down a little bit right. for the adhesive mm, okay and then we apply some of the adhesive and the glue over here in this area and then we push it down wood to form the box Like give it about um, 15 seconds and um, try to make it a little bit longer for this end. This is the closing end for the uh, the box itself, and it's actually holding the mobile phone. So you wish to get it entirely dry. Right and now, let's um, move on to the side of it. Uh, so basically, the side is like folding up the box and I make it uh, very intuitive this way so you just do it slot it in the tank a little bit halfway down and try to overlap each other overlap each other and, um, and make sure the tank is coming out from that area from the slot and we're going to open up and uh, we slot in the uh, the other side of the tab which you can't see right now yeah, but it's actually a slot right there all right so move on to the left hand side which is the, actually the right hand side of uh, the box itself and do the same thing right and uh, we're gonna slip in the tongue do be careful that uh, the uh, slot is a little bit tight, so you need to um, kind of force it in. Right, basically, uh, that's about it. That's about it, and it looks um, almost complete. And let's take out the Velcro. Let's move on to the Velcro. So you can put the velcro, the elongated velcro, uh, either side. You can use the hook side for it, or you can use the um, loop side for it. Uh, either way, both has to match each other. So um, I will use the hook side rudder 
because um, I want it to be a softer on the other side and the, uh, that's how we can position the, the loop and what we can do right take out the adhesive and put it in like so and likewise for the other side of the hook and loops right put the hook like so into the slot and we we'll position the loop right here and peel it off and then we can um, align it nicely press it down but with that uh, we have to go down the last one which is the elongated loop elongated loop and move the adhesive right and we're gonna fold it forward to mimic the uh, size of the mobile phone and we press it down to give some gaps to it so pretty much this is 100% complete and the last one will be on the face pad so just put on the face pad and voila you complete the making of the Zynic VR cardboard and the last part of it would be on the, uh, this uh, rubber band and this for non-skip rubber band so that's it you're done with your precise um, Zynic VR cardboard comfy and this is how we fall in and for keeping okay so thank you for watching and um, be sure to subscribe. Thank you.